Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate unsubscribe on YouTube using Socinator. If there are YouTube channels you no longer want to be subscribed to, then Socinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your YouTube account and hit Go to Tools. This will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on YouTube through Socinator. Let's click on subscribe. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to unsubscribe to a number of YouTube channels within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for unsubscribe activity. Let's start with the first one, unsubscribe source. Check the first one to target YouTube channels subscribed by software. So these are the YouTube channels subscribed using Socinator. Next, we have channels subscribed outside software. So these are the YouTube channels you subscribe to yourself. Finally, we have custom channels list. You need a specific YouTube URL for this one. Let's say this is the YouTube channel URL. You may type it or you may copy and paste it in this area. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click the save button over here. So Socinator will target the YouTube channel you entered. So for this one, let's use channel subscribed by software or Socinator. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should unsubscribe to YouTube channels. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 20, medium with 41, fast with 83, or super fast with 250. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each unsubscribe activity. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after unsubscribing to the number of channels you set in unsubscribes per job. Unsubscribes per job will allow you to specify the number of channels you want to unsubscribe to per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of channels to unsubscribe to per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of maximum unsubscribes per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep unsubscribing to YouTube channels even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it YouTube unsubscribe. Click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing YouTube unsubscribe. The next tool is channel filter. This allows us to filter the YouTube channels we want to unsubscribe to. Check the first one to specify the number of subscribers the channel should have. Check the second one to specify the total number of views of the channel's videos. Next we have words or phrases that should be in the channel title and words or phrases that should be in the channel description. Let's say you want to unsubscribe to prank channels. So let's type the word prank for both. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click save. Next we have words or phrases that should not be in the title 
and words or phrases that should not be in the description. So if there are words you want to filter for this one, type it in these areas. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons, and when you're done, click Save. Next, we have Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the YouTube accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not unsubscribe to blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific YouTube account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. The last tool is Video Filter. This allows us to filter the YouTube videos from the channels we want to unsubscribe to. Check the first one to specify the number of views the video should have, then the number of comments, likes, and dislikes. You can also specify how long the video is in seconds. Next, we have words or phrases that should be in the video title and words or phrases that should be in the video description. Let's target prank again for both. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons and when you're done, click save. Finally, we have words or phrases that should not be in the title and words or phrases that should not be in the description. Type the words you want to filter in these areas. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons and when you're done, click save. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start unsubscribing to YouTube channels, let's scroll up and click save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating unsubscribe on YouTube using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select YouTube. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the subscriber tab and select unsubscribe on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it YouTube Unsubscribe. For Unsubscribe Source, let's select Channel Subscribed by Software or Socinator. For Job Configuration, let's select Slow. For Channel Filter, Subscriber should be around 10 to 20. For Video Filter, it's up to you. Then let's skip Blacklisted Users, Private Blacklist. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select Account or Accounts. In this part, you can select multiple YouTube accounts. Since you only have one, let's go with that by checking the box, then click Save. After saving, let's click the red button Create Campaign. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our YouTube Unsubscribe campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign and the Action button over here will allow us to edit duplicate or delete the campaign and that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching